Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 quick tip video. Today I'm going to show you a really powerful AI tool that lets you create podcasts. This is a web based tool from Adobe, and I really am excited about ways you can use it to create content for your students, but more importantly, how you can have your students create content no matter what subject area or what grade level you're working with. Let's check it out. Adobe Podcast leverages AI to kind of enhance the podcast experience. So there are a couple of tools here. You can have enhanced speech or you can remove that background audio from voice recording. We're going to dive in here to the studio. But what's great about this is that I can really, because it's taking out that background noise with just that one click, it's really helping us to have a clear, understandable story. And this is really powerful is that I can edit audio like a doc. So I can actually look at the transcript and change any words that might have been misheard by the AI. And I can um, really hone in on the text that is part of that document. Again, professional grade recording and bonus, you have that pre-edited royalty free music. So let's dive in and take a look at how you can use Adobe's podcast tool. I'm going to select go to studio. I've already logged into my account. I can start with audio templates. This is really powerful, especially if you're working with younger learners in the sense that you can give them that start to help them create their podcast. I'm going to go up here and choose new project. As you can see, the interface is very straightforward. I love that this is a web-based tool. So this is great for students that are using Chromebooks. So it's going to automatically save in the cloud. So I can upload content if I've already recorded it on another device. I can pull in music. We're going to look at that and I can use some filters to get some special effects. So I want to start recording or I can invite guests. Inviting a guest means that I can share a link and so I can have others come in and join to record here as well. So I'm going to choose to start recording and I hit this button down here. And as you see, I have to allow my microphone and it's now in record mode. As you can see, it's registering that I am recording here. And so I'm excited to talk about the Olympics because it's Summer Olympics in Paris. My favorite sport right now that I'm very much enjoying is actually badminton. I'm going to stop recording. It's processing that audio and it's now transcribing it. You can see I recorded for approximately 25 seconds. Notice it shows everything in that transcript here of what I said. I am super excited that it's the Summer Olympics time. I'm going to choose to stop recording. That transcription is happening. So as you can see, it's finished transcribing. So this is where the power comes in. So I'm going to select edit and I can actually go in here and select multiple parts. So if I actually wanted to take out this beginning part and all I do is hit here and choose to delete it, it's actually deleted that whole segment based on the words I was saying. So I'm going to get rid of this part right here as well and hit for me to check it. So let's play this back. I am super excited that it's the Summer Olympics time. I've been tuning in to... So what's really powerful here is for your students to record. Ideally, they've scripted their podcast before they're accessing this tool. So they have a script. They've done the brainstorming. They have a plan. So it's a great writing activity. But now I'm going through and I'm recording this and I can check, have I said the words correctly? And if I need to make any deletes, I can do that by just deleting the words. Now, if I delete a word and what, realize I didn't mean to do that, the best button is the undo button, which is over here. So it's going to return that part right there. When I'm done, I have the option of adding some music to it. So I can select uh, different types of music here. So maybe some lo-fi. So it's added that lo-fi sound to it. So now as we play this, I am super excited that it's the... Now you'll notice that where that music is, I can choose to fade it in, fade it out, delete it. So I can actually have the music be during the speaking part, or I could choose to have it be at the end of the track as well. I can set up placeholders, which means I'm going to set it right here. So once I've recorded this amazing podcast, I can choose to download it, the final audio, and I can also download the transcript. I can go up here and give it a title so I can see my files. And if I go back to home, I'm going to see the best podcast ever and one that I did previously. This is a really powerful and easy to use tool to use with your students. 
Let's take a look at these templates real quick. So if I want to create a project from a template, notice that it's already got those placeholders where we're going to have the music coming in and what's going to need to be said so I can actually record and see kind of a flow of what I want my podcast to look like. And I can go in and modify any of this and re-record the elements that are going to go in this template. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. I cannot wait to see what your students create. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, like and subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Thanks so much.